Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the Dell Inspiron laptop, and what I'll be doing is a keyboard replacement of full assembly, meaning that I will, I will replace the entire keyboard with a palm rest and a touchpad all together. All right, so let me show it to you. This is the Dell uh, Inspiron 15, and the model for this is P58F. And I'll show you the keyboard, how it looks like. And this is the 7000 series. So let me go ahead and uh, do a step-by-step -step video on how to replace the keyboard for you. And if you are watching this video because your keyboard is not working, or maybe your touchpad is not working, I would like you to hit the like button. And maybe subscribe to the channel or hit the notification bell because that would actually really helps me to grow the channel. Now the uh, the back plate is all comes with the uh, Phillips screwdriver. Ah, sorry, Phillips screw. You just need to have a Phillips screwdriver to remove all the screws. This one here is actually electric screwdriver. I do not have to manually twist and turn them. You just press a button and it would unscrew. If you'd like to buy one of this, I actually got it from Amazon. Uh, this is not a sponsor. I pay right off my own pocket. And this cost me about $20. Uh, it's pretty good. It has a few, few, um, few of these this, uh, drill bits. Not the drill bits, the... Uh, the the sizes are different and you know you can change them out according to your needs and I like it so far it's rechargeable battery by the way so you can just plug into the USB-C to recharge it alright so once I remove all the screws let's go ahead and pop open the back cover the back cover doesn't really need um, anything that holds on to it once you remove the screw you can actually lift up the back cover just like that okay now the next part here as you can see what we'll be doing is we need to transfer everything over right so we need to transfer the motherboard over the LCD screen the battery uh, the hard drive things like that everything have to move from the original computer over to the new keyboard right here so the first thing I need to do is to remove the SSD drive this is the M.2 SSD and if you say like hey I like to upgrade my SSD to the larger drive this is too small for you 512 um, you can watch my video I have a different video that I upgrade um, from you know from one M M.2 to the other larger M.2 and that video is about cloning from one drive to the other drive I will have that video in the description somewhere below here uh, down there or maybe up there on the screen just go ahead and click on that <laughs> sorry I got distracted so this is the battery connector what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to slide it down to my body to slide downwards there's no any secure clip or anything just a connector that push in to install slide down to remove go ahead and remove the screw there are two screws holding onto the battery and if your battery is not holding the charge, let's say your battery is is swollen and uh, it's not holding the charge, like this battery right here, you can see it's actually slightly to uh, swell. It's, it's actually slightly swollen right here, and you can feel that thing. This is still flat, but the the middle and the third one is actually getting harder. So this battery is about to go out, and um, yeah, so if you need a battery replacement, go ahead and look up this model, WDX0R. And get yourself a battery replacement. This is the keyboard. I flip open the, the clipper. So there's a clipper right here. I open up the clipper. It's coming from the bottom. You flip it up at 90 degree angle and you can slide the cable down towards yourself. This is the speaker to remove the connector. Just slide it down to your body all right so this one here is a cable that connects to the uh, the IO board on the other side 
uh, first you need to lift up the clipper right here so there's a metal clipper lift it up and then slide this onto your left that's how you remove it okay and let's go ahead and disconnect the CPU fan connector so slide the, the connector to your left that's how you remove it and we are going to remove the CPU fan by unscrew two of these Phillips screws okay so once that thing is unscrewed you can go ahead and remove the uh, the fan if you need a fan replacement here just look up for this model right here uh, 031 TPT that's for this model okay let's go ahead and start removing the motherboard let me take out this screw one two three four five all right there are five screws that holds onto the motherboard I still got to disconnect a bunch of other stuff here so this is your LCD screen there's a little plastic that holds onto it this plastic is uh, is like a tape so open up that tape first you don't have to remove it just lift it up and get the the metal connector the clipper flip up and then slide the LCD away from you okay same thing for this you need to open up there's a clipper right here the black flip that clipper up and then slide that cable away from you alright so there, there you go so that is that this is your DC jack DC jack is the one that do the charging uh, the connector has no clipper on I'm just gonna slide it away from my body and that's how you remove this DC jack and if you have a broken DC jack you just got to replace this one if something was stuck in there right or something broke in in there it's very simple to replace the DC jack okay now the entire motherboard should just come out without any problem but before you can do that you actually need to remove this two screws these two screws here uh, is actually holding onto the motherboard remove that and there you go this entire motherboard just come right out now what I need to do is to remove the hinge there's only one screw it's holding onto the hinge I need to transfer the entire LCD screen over and this is the Wi-Fi card remove that one screw I'll make a label on the on the cable so I know the white one goes on the top the black one is at the bottom and at this point let me go ahead and flip the uh, the hinge up about 90 degree angle now I can slide the entire keyboard out All right so you have to hinge up about 90 degree angle and the entire key uh, the keyboard comes out now I just want to make sure that the new keyboard right here has the same thing that is installed right so this IO board on the right left side is all connected the speaker and the CMOS battery is in place waiting for the Wi-Fi card right here this is the DC jack connector it looks good and then at the bottom right here we have the touchpad we have the keyboard in the right position waiting to go everything is connected great okay so this is ready to go let's go ahead and put the old one on the side and the new one at the bottom here so let me go ahead and slide it back in once I have it slide in I need to press and hold the hinge on both of my fingers and try to close it down so you want this to be closed down so that we can work on it right so press it down press it down there you go remember the two screws that we just removed let's go ahead and put it back on
it looks like this this bracket right here is broken so this keyboard replacement I got it looks like the guy broke it but that's okay we still have two more screws here holding onto the hinge if you're missing one screw it, it would be still okay try not to open up you know uh, push it so hard to open up the screen now let's go ahead and transfer the motherboard back in first that is important piece here so make sure all the cables is not in the covering make sure all the cables are above the motherboard that's what I'm trying to say right they're not supposed to be underneath okay now we have that in place go ahead and put all the screws back onto the motherboard if you're still following along the video you're almost done right now we're just putting things back together it is a lot easier compared to taking things apart so stay tuned keep watching it and to install the fan go ahead and put the fan back on here it looks like The fan connector goes right in here, the black one. Okay, and there are two screws that are holding onto the fan. Okay, and the next thing I need to do is to install this M.2 drive. slide it into my right push it down a little bit make sure that this thing is aligned properly and I have the screws ready to put it back in so okay there, there you go remember this cable right here for this IO board go ahead and slide it to your right once it's all the way in push the clipper down to lock it down okay simple as that now let's move on to the Wi-Fi connector push the Wi-Fi to your left to go in now remember about the color coding the black cable goes down right and remember the sharpie the blue marker I made it for the white cable that goes along with this marker right here so both of the, both dot for the white cable goes on the top put the screws on there you go okay I have the Wi-Fi install now let's work on the um, LCD screen so make sure the clipper is open first right and then you want to slowly and gently slide that cable back down so slide it downwards and then have the clipper lock it in once the clipper is in put the tape back on to secure that connection now make sure the clipper is open slide the cable back down and then lock it push the cable push the cable down okay so when I push the cable I'm actually pushing down away from my body that direction not towards my body right you don't want to break the clipper the clipper here is actually go that direction once it's down, put the tape back on to secure that. Remember the DC jack connector. Push it in. Done with that. This is the speaker. Go ahead and push the speaker back in. Push it in there. Remember that uh, bracket right here that's holding to the motherboard. Let's put the two screws back on. I know you're busy following my tutorial you don't have time to click the like button this is just a reminder you can pause the video or press the space bar to pause it please click the like button if you're still following along you're pretty much close to get things done now remember the two battery so let's go ahead and install the battery back in 
The connector is pretty easy, straightforward. Just slide it in, align the battery in the right position, and remember the two screws that we need to put in is actually on the left side of the battery. So one screw here on the top, one screw here at the bottom. And that should do it. Now you're pretty much done. At this point, there's not much you, you want to follow because we're just putting, we are putting back the cover, right? So when we put back the cover and put all the screws back in, and there you go. There you have it. Now, um, yeah, so pretty much that's, that's about it. We just replaced the entire keyboard in about 15 minutes. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to say. I do have other videos about this model here and maybe other videos on uh, about different computers. Uh, you know, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel so you can follow along if you have any computer problem. So stay tuned, take care, until next time.